Move over Sims 4, there's a new life sim game in town, and it looks sharp. This highly anticipated South Korean made game is making waves in the life sim genre for how delightfully detailed and hyper realistic it looks. After initial delays, the early access release is finally coming on March 28th. But if you're currently a Sims 4 fan or a cozy gamer, it's likely your current PC won't be able to handle it. Let's find out why. Playing as characters known as Zoys, you start as an intern at a new job of your choosing and take on all the chores and responsibilities that go with it. Control and observe entire neighbourhoods, monitoring their stress levels and making their lives as smooth or as chaotic as you wish. Each city's culture affects the activities and careers available to your Zoi, with cities maxing out at 300 Zoys, each with their own free will and intentions, bringing in interesting, unique stories and encounters. Diverse weather systems with real seasons in which your Zoys must dress for the weather, or risk potentially dying of hypothermia. There is an extensive character studio with detailed clothing and accessory customization, providing endless options, and I mean endless. So if you, like me, get decision paralysis, do not fear as there will be presets to get started. This granular level of design is apparent when building and editing houses. Choose specific materials, textures, and hex color codes for each aspect. Inzo director Hyung Jun Kei Jun Kim also explained there will be different communities in which rumors can spread, fashion trends can start, and even catch illnesses like the flu from your fellow Zoys. Yay, I, I guess. With an incredible number of day to day activities to enjoy, from working at your day job to hanging out at computer cafes, even enjoying hobbies like playing musical instruments or sports, we certainly won't run out of things to do. Unlike The Sims, there is a free roam city to explore with interesting places to visit, including a theme park with rideable roller coasters. Driving cars is one I'm sure plenty of you will love, with the option to toggle between automatic and manual driving modes. However, we are only getting a choice of about five cars to start with. There's also crime within the city. Whether you're a criminal or the police officer, we'll leave that one up to you. I thought it was worth mentioning some of the features that are not available during early access, but are confirmed to be in development. Some of them are so exciting. The karma system they have in the pipeline means all actions can affect how life pans out in the long run. If a Zoe has enough karma points when they die, they'll move into the afterlife. If not, it's the paranormal life for them. Yup, Zoys can even become ghosts and commune with other Zoy ghosts. There is a rumour that you can actually spot ghosts even during the early access version of the game, but only at set times, in certain situations. Rather mysterious, but I do love my spooky stuff, so I can't wait for this. One feature I'm quite disappointed isn't launching right away is pets. Being the crazy cat lady that I am, it is a must to have a pet cat in my life sim games. So fingers crossed, this one gets added soon. The game is currently only single player. However, multiplayer elements are being worked on. So eventually you'll be able to invite your friends to come visit your home. Crafton are also planning mod integration. Partnering with CurseForge, there will be a dedicated platform with tools and resources so modders can go wild with their creations. The developers have built Inzoi using Unreal Engine 5, which is why the game has realistic graphics, a stunning, highly detailed world with even detailed characters and expressions. One of the best parts is that if you're not a fan of the art style, there are plenty of filters to apply. From looking hyper-realistic to cartoon, pixelated, black and white, even a fisheye lens option, and more. Thanks to their use of NVIDIA ACE, we can play with an AI tool that makes the NPCs more responsive and lifelike via the Smart Zoi option. For example, if the Zoi has a considerate nature, they would naturally stop to help a lost Zoi of directions or buy a homeless man lunch. There is the option of using an AI feature that turns text prompts into in-game items, like clothing and house decor. One of my favorite features is the 3D printer that will allow players to upload photos of real-life objects and turn them into 3D items to decorate their house with in-game. Inzoi developer Crafton has addressed a few concerns about their use of AI, saying all AI features within Inzoi use models developed by Crafton and are trained using solely company-owned and copyright-free assets and data. In addition, Inzoi's AI capabilities are built into on-device solutions and therefore do not make communications online with external servers. 
There's always the debate over ethics when it comes to AI used within creative fields, let alone the quality and artistry, but I guess at least Crafton are being transparent and honest about using AI for cost cutting. Remaining PC exclusive at launch, <coughs> PC Master Race, with plans to release on PS5 and Xbox Series X at a later date. Sorry Switch users, but this game might be a little bit too graphically demanding for your console. It looks like upscaling will be required for optimal performance, causing concerns about how the game will run at launch. Inzai Studio released a very detailed hardware requirements list and even an in-game graphics comparison which makes it easy to see what hardware you need and what to expect. The bad news is that if you've been enjoying games like The Sims 4 on an entry-level gaming PC or laptop, Inzoi is a lot more demanding to run. The minimum requirements, which provide a pretty disappointing graphical experience, demand a dedicated GPU with at least 6GB of VRAM, an Intel i5 or Ryzen 5 processor with 12GB of memory. You'll also need at least 40GB of storage space. There's no mention of resolution, but going by how blurry it looks, I'd say this is a 720p. Median graphic settings are a lot better and look kind of similar to Sims 4. They list an Intel i7-11700 and AMD Ryzen 7 5800X3D, paired with 16GB of memory, an RTX 3060 or Radeon RX 6600. The storage requirements jump up to 50 gigabytes, and for medium requirements at what is probably 1080p, this is surprisingly demanding. To enjoy the game at its best, you want to aim for the recommended requirements, and oh boy, are you going to have to invest in a high-end PC. The processor requirements include an i7-12700K or Ryzen 7 7800X3D, paired with 16 gigabyte of memory. GPU-wise, you're going to need a NVIDIA RTX 3070 or even a Radeon RX 6800 XT. The storage requirement also jumps up again to about 60 gigabytes. Inzoi is an incredibly realistic sim, and if you want to experience the graphics at their full potential, only the best PC hardware will suffice. You need an Intel i7 14700K and a Ryzen 7 9800X3D paired with a whopping 32GB of memory and RTX 4080 or Radeon RX 7900XTX. The storage requirement also increases to 75GB. It's unusual to see the storage requirements change with the graphics, however it's likely that Inzoi downloads higher res textures if you opt to crank up the settings. The high requirements should allow you to enjoy Inzoi with everything maxed out at 1440p or 4K. As you can tell from the specifications, a PC that runs Inzoi is not going to be cheap. The realistic graphics are beautiful, but a high-end gaming PC is needed. The minimum requirements provide a pretty poor experience, so I'm just going to skip those entirely. Our first PC should give you a decent experience at 1080p and medium settings. The CPU requirements are quite high, so we've picked the gaming Merlin, but you will need to use the configure option to upgrade to an Intel Core i5-13400F for £71. You can also configure the memory and storage, but the default 16GB of RAM and 1TB NVMe drive are enough to get you started. The Radeon RX 7600 XT with 16GB of VRAM beats out the medium requirements, so you might be able to actually increase the graphic settings higher than medium. Overall, £970.99 is probably the most affordable PC you're going to be able to get away with playing Inzoi. To meet the recommended requirements, you'll need a PC like the OCUK Gaming Falcon. As listed by the requirements, it has a Ryzen 7 7800X3D processor. Other components such as the 32GB of memory and Radeon RX 9070 XT graphics actually slightly exceed the recommended specs. You can choose from a black or a white mesh fronted case and it even has customizable RGB lighting all for £1,899.95. As I mentioned earlier, only a high-end PC will do if you want to max out Inzoi and enjoy the hyper-realistic graphics. Invest in a system like the OCUK Gaming Max 6. This pre-built PC is available for next day delivery, so you'll definitely have it in time for launch day. It uses the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D paired with a 32GB of DDR5 memory and the brand new and powerful NVIDIA RTX 5080. Every PC mentioned comes tested, ready to plug and play with a three-year warranty, perfect for years of intense Inzoi gaming sessions. 
Graphically, the game is stunning. The level of detail and options within the game truly are endless. To be honest, the game seems a little bit like if you mixed Sims with Grand Theft Auto, with all of the extras in between you could ever dream of. There is always a long road to perfection with an expansive, ambitious game like this, but from what we've seen so far, it looks very promising. Just make sure your PC is up to the task. The worst part is, I've now just got to wait till the end of the month to play it. Thanks for watching. What did you think of Inzoi though? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and you might as well click another one of these videos down below whilst you're here.